estate company Allsop and Allsop. Hello, good afternoon. I hope everyone can hear me, it's not too windy. Uh, my name is Mark Bellamy. I work for Allsop and Allsop Real Estate. We're in the spring souk on the first floor next to Emirates MBD if anyone needs to uh, needs to speak to myself or any of my colleagues that cover the Emirates living area. Today I'm outside in Springs 8. It's a type 4E property. The property is vacant at the moment. So we have plenty of time to look inside. If there's any questions at any point, feel free to ask. I, they do come up on my screen so I can ask them straight away. So inside a type 4E property, typically you have two bedrooms upstairs, both with ensuite and a study downstairs. This particular unit has been fully upgraded. Flooring, kitchen, as you can see, with the wall knocked through and bathrooms. You can extend the 4E to the rear. This has been done in this villa already to add an extra few feet onto the back, more say for the dining area. I hope the gardener doesn't mind being on Property Finder. At the front here is the study. And next to it, the guest bathroom and just space here for laundry. This door goes out to the, to the car park where you have two spaces. So the 4E is 1,794, 1,794 square feet of built up area. That's the area inside the villa. And this particular unit has a plot size of just shy of 3,000 square feet. It's about average for a 4E. This is one of the bedrooms. This is actually the second bedroom. Both bedrooms have one suite. Fitted wardrobe. And you have a balcony to the side. Location wise, if you actually came out of the front of the property and walk down this little passage here, you enter spring seven, which is where the spring souk is. So you're only five, six minute walk from the spring souk where all the shops and more importantly, our office is. This is the master bedroom we're entering now. Again, all fitted wardrobes up the side. Upgraded ensuite shower room. And then you have the balcony off the back. So it's single row, so you don't have anyone overlooking you. And you also have a partial view of the lake here. The garden, like I say, this plot size is just shy of 3,000. I think it's 2,850. So it's a good size, good size garden. If any of you have missed anything, great question that, they're white today. Uh, if any of you have missed anything, then do drop me a line on WhatsApp. Feel free to email me, call me. My details will all be on this listing. And for any of you who are late, joining, I think there was quite a lot of you. I'll just go back through the villa once more. The second bedroom. Of course, the property is vacant right now, so it's ready to occupy immediately, as soon as you're ready. There is no finance on the villa makes it a fairly straightforward and easy sale. All you need to do is get your mortgage, which I can help you source. We have our own mortgage team. All of the Springs Villas were built in 2006, across, across one year. Obviously starting with Springs 1 first and finishing with Springs 15. There is no Springs 13 because People think their number 13 is unlucky for some reason. 
So they were all built in 2006, so they're 14 years old. What do I reckon? I think it's a good unit for someone who doesn't want to do any work. Here is the kitchen for that person who wanted to see the kitchen again. Of course, if you bought a Springs Villa, they tend to be dated, they tend to need a lot of work doing to them, which is, which is capital out of your pocket. If you bought a property which is already renovated, then you don't have to come up with the extra, you can effectively finance the upgrades. And now we've got 80% LTV loan to value from some banks, which means that you don't actually have to come up with quite as much cash. So if you had 450,000 dirhams cash, that would cover you here for your, for your down payment and fees. Uh, you're on a corner plot here as well, so no neighbor this side. There's a neighbor here. That was, that's a type 4M different to this, so that's it. Like I say, any other questions or anything you need from me, let me know. Thanks.